cultural theory of risk perception. Again, developed in the 70s as a way to understand why it is that different groups of people have different perceptions of the hazard involved in technology. You know, if you ask people about uh, pollution and oh, maybe climate change, you know, some people see risk, others don't. Why is that? Well, an anthropologist was able to map this against how we align ourselves culturally. Right? So our connection to community, our sense of hierarchy, our sense of individualism, these affect how we see risk. And they came up with something pretty interesting. There's one group of people that consistently underestimate risk, white males. And it's actually called the white male effect. And in study after study, you can see this. The line representing white male perception of risk is lower than that of females. It's lower than that of non-white males and non-white females. When I saw that, I thought, well, that explains a lot. <laughs> Who dominates the tech industry? White males. But then my wife asked me another good question. She said, well, what about the people who are working to make technology safer? And, and she had a good point because nine out of 10 people involved in cybersecurity today are male, and most of us are very white. <laughs> and so I had to do a bit more research. I looked into the studies, and apparently there's one group of males that skew the whole picture. About 30% of males who tend to be affluent, well-educated, aligned with elements of hierarchy and individualism drastically underestimate the risk in technology. And let me give you an example. Suppose you run a car company that sells a lot of diesel engine cars. <laughs> Suppose those diesel engines are subject to tough emissions tests. What are you going to do about that? Well, you steal a trick from the cybercrime playbook. Right? Cyber criminals, if they want to get onto your system, they want to get their malicious code into your system, they will have that code behave itself if it's being tested. So that you know, a malware researcher or an anti-malware detection program, it will behave itself. And that's what they did with the emission control software. When the test's being run, it behaves itself. And I'm pretty sure that the people at that car company who decided the risk of that strategy was acceptable were mainly white and mainly male. Thank you.